The next meme, um, we picked another category. Is it animals next? It's animals, okay. yes. What? Animals, the crowd in the back goes wild. So <laughs> there are so many memes that do animals. The doge meme, um, the penguin. I think a lot of times people also could, like this could be a good time if you're using the meme generator for the first time, that if you wanted to save like an image of your favorite animal or an animal that you've kind of related to the faces they make, you know, it might be a good time to save that to your computer, upload it to the meme generator, and then you could sort of add text for what you think that animal is talking about, right? Yeah. So I think that, cats are common too. We, yeah. did, we, we should mention cats. Cats. You can't cats have the internet like without the cats. Cats are the cornerstone of the internet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. So let's look at the animal memes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so maybe we'll go through these examples, and then after we're done with these examples, then we'll look at a couple of submissions? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. So, animal memes. Uh, cute little <laughs> owls, and a big owl, little owl. I should call them mini-me. I mean, again, this is a really good indication of how widespread popular culture is. So the mini-me from Austin Powers, that's a reference that mm -hmm. You might not have ever even seen the original Austin Powers movies, but you still get this idea of the mini-me. Correct. Yeah, what else about this meme is, is cute, wholesome? <laughs> um, different things that stand out. Um, well, there's definitely like an energy of like a like like family or like a like loving or like, you know, cult, uh, what's mm. the word I'm looking for? It starts with a C. Like a, C. Maybe doting, doting, <laughs> like affection. That starts with an A, but that sounds like what we were talking about. I don't know. Like it's definitely like a like way. I don't know. When you say like I shall call him this, like it's like a like very like in grouping. Like oh, this one is mine, and mm -hmm. I shall name him this. Yeah. You know, it's giving like a pet name to somebody, and it's just it's just very cute that we're. I think we're externalizing onto these animals that they have this like really cute relationship between right. them, and it's like do they actually? Right. I mean, how, there, ma right? how many animal memes? <laughs> I don't even know because we haven't seen what's coming up. But I would guess that most of the animal memes we have anthropomorphize the animals right. like project human values right. onto these animals yes. I mean you look at these owls and they're cute they have the, the exaggerated uh, kind of human like features right. of the eyes it's they're they're relatable to use the language and I think that's gonna be yeah. a, we'll see but yeah. I think that that'll be a trend of the ones that actually get picked out to be used for right. memes right? yeah so, so let's see another animal meme <laughs> we have cats we have cats <laughs> so what's the emotion that comes out of this one well, I mean, this, this taps into just what we all know about cats is that you can't trust them. I mean, they'll go behind your back in a second. You just, you can't. Hot takes from my sample. <laughs> so it's, it, I mean, it's funny again. Uh, also, I mean, I think we're projecting again human values onto this cat. Uh, the kind of jealousy siblings might feel when a new baby arrives in the house and everything. But the, the, I'm going to do something I've never done before, which is touch a cat paw on a screen. <laughs> that is the key of this. That's the key that's for the understanding key. this image, right? That little cat paw just hiding out there. Uh, once you see that, everything falls into place for that <laughs> gift, uh, image. Absolutely. So more? <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question. I feel like I like memes a lot, like this a lot because I like the, the concept of taking something that's like really highly academic and this cultural reference and putting it on something that's kind of goofy. Um, <laughs> that's something I find pretty relatable. You know, I think we, te we, tr we treat a lot of material as something that can't be put in this side of like fun or relatable context, but I like the idea of taking something like that. Yeah, I, I don't even know what's going on in this picture. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a, is it the bird grabbing something or is it on something? <laughs> I, is, I see it as deeply reflective. I don't know any, any okay. other interpretations of that. Maybe people can contribute in the chat. This, uh, the, uh, but I want to point out, it is okay to admit when you don't get a meme. Wow. That, that is, really you're vulnerable. okay. You're among friends here. Yeah, it's true. Okay. So do we have memes that are from uh, the audience and from online? And maybe some animal memes? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I want to look at that one too. But that's, I guess that's a reaction meme. Okay. Oh, excellent. How do we pull this up again? <laughs> so this is, I feel like this is a common meme template on Twitter, uh -huh. right? Where like there's just different reactions that yeah. people, like, so this is actually like its own meme of sorts, right? right. This reaction to the, like you versus the guy that she tells you not to yeah. worry about, right? Yeah. It's, uh, so uh, with the Velociraptor, I talked about the structure. There's the, the setup and the punchline. 
I think another structure that you can think about memes in terms of is like A, B scenarios. Mm -hmm. So caption A and then B, that's another kind of familiar template. Even if you don't think consciously about that template when you're making these memes, I think it's kind of been, uh, you know, beat into you in a sense yeah. to make memes that, in that way. Yeah, I definitely agree. And so this is, that, that's also funny, I feel like, because like clearly that's the like naked mole rat from the like, Kim Possible show, right? I don't know, I don't get this one. <laughs> and, okay, yeah, so it's, it's the naked mole rat from the Kim Possible show, which is kind of just this useless little creature that comes along with everyone. It's just like the, the icon that you would point to that's like uh -huh. the like, what, there's a word for this in movies when there's just like some like funny distraction from what's actually happening in the plot. Do you know what the word is? No. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I do. <laughs> There's I, a word for no. that, but uh, clearly that's like, that's what the naked mole rat is yeah. like, impossible. It's just like this cute companion animal that kind of comes along for the ride. And so that's funny that that would be you, whereas the person not to worry about, right, that's like this clear comparison to you is like this like aristocratic figure, this like king of the rat society right. who's wearing the most fanciful of clothes. Um, do you know what I that image that is from? The, I don't. I, do you know where I, that image is from? No. I only, I only, it's a great choice, I only know though. cats. That is a great, great choice. Do we want to see if there are any other animals? Oh, here's one. <laughs> kind of Pokemon memes, yes, okay. And this is also about like, 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 so we said animals with the understanding that people were going to post pictures of animals and put, but we did not specify that it had to be this. And yeah, I think that someone this is broke interesting. The rules. Yeah, someone reshaped the rules, I guess. Um, and I think it's interesting. So it, it, it is commenting on our culture of how we relate to animals. Right, right. right. So. And, and of course, also pointing out the obvious, horrible, brutal nature of Pokemon, mm -hmm. that you're training these cute little creatures to fight. <laughs> and, and as soon as they're done, you send them back to get better again. It, it, I mean, it's... It's a very odd way to treat something you love. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it. Don't <laughs> stay away from Pokemon. People. But that also, that meme template is one of my favorites too, yeah. so I'm glad someone put it up there. The, the Pokemon so, with the open mouth. Oh, okay. Oh, goodness. We're okay. going to go to Instagram, which I guess is ha hopping as well. I'm going to do that while you talk about something else because it might take me a bit. Okay. okay. So, uh, how are we doing on time? 3.11, we've got plenty of time. So, okay, let's talk about another, oh, great. Oh, yeah, we got some Doge. <laughs> Do you have a Doge voice? I, I don't know. That you would like what... to read this out loud or no? No, you don't have a Doge no, voice no. Of choice. no. I don't know what a Doge voice would be. Like, <laughs> That's fair. But, but the, the typ typical, uh, you know, idea, Do we have a, are you coming up here to read the Doge voice? Would you be interested by any chance? You don't have to, but if you're, I don't it's know, like just exactly. like how, how would you dictate this meme out loud that? Well, I, no, I think that, I think. Oh, yeah, come right. Come it, here, these are here, all simultaneous talk. thoughts. Can she I think. talk on the thing? That's fair. It's That's a fair. feeling. So yeah, with, um, with these kind of doge memes, um, you know, it's, it's the cute animal with the kind of sidelong glance. But what's happening in, in these memes, again, it's, it's breaking that initial structure that we talked about with a philosopher with a top text and bottom text. Right. And here, um, you basically have all this, all this text that's supposed to represent this interior monologue that's going on in this dog's head. That's very, well, a college student said. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and it's supposed to capture this jumbled, cluttered, almost panicked, uh, feeling of right, and I think that this sort of we talked for a long time about the like this is fine dog, right, and how the mm -hmm. dog was making that like really calm, but you could see there's something going on yeah. behind the behind the eyes face, right, and I think that that's kind of what um, the meme creator is using in this context, right? I think that it's it's referring to that look, that longing look, that like oh my goodness, all this stuff happening behind the scenes, you know, like right. college is not this picture perfect thing, you know, it's like there's a bunch of distress, there's a bunch of fatigue, there's a bunch of other things that are happening because of the way that right. the, the college and university is structured. Right, and I mean actually a shout out to all the Davidson College students here because like it is almost exam week. Exams start on Friday, just a, a few short days away from now, and they're here with us making memes when they should be studying. <laughs> so thank you to them.